Okay, what's happening, fam? I'm just gonna get into this. Darling! Yeah, uh, don't even ask. Are you black, biracial, or mixed? Pick one. Yeah, pick one. 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 Not two. Not three. One. The reason I say that is this. If you're black, you're black. If you mix with black, the world's going to consider you black. If you're biracial, the world's going to consider you black. But if you're riding the fence, at least let the other black people who consider themselves black know. See what I'm saying? See, this is not the, this is not the 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, when, it, when you could be passe blanc. And what people probably don't understand what passe blanc is, it's a French term, a Louisiana term used for passing for white. Passe pass, blanc, white. Passe blanc. Now, the reason I say that is because I say this. There's too many people out here, because I ran into some, some more and more people in my day-to-day -day life, who be like, you know, they had a kid. My kid's not black. You damn sure look black. And kids run out. I'm not black. I'm French. I'm hazelnut. I don't give a fuck. You gonna be called black because this world and America is gonna see you as black. Let's get into this one drop rule bullshit. I'll tell you something. It is still a rule. Don't act like we made it up. We just live by it. Do we have to? Maybe. Maybe not. But here's the rule. If you got a black family, and you got a non-black family, and those families have a family reunion, your mixed, biracial, black ass going to be on the black side. You're not going to take a picture with the white family because they're not going to consider you white. They're going to say go over there. So what's going to happen is, if you don't pick one, you leave yourself right in the middle. Right in the middle. And see, here's a problem that we as black people have. Don't be mixed when you feel like you're doing something good in life. And then be black when you feel like you're doing something bad in life. Don't be biracial when you feel like you're getting ahead and black when you're not getting ahead and you need some support. Don't be mixed or biracial when you feel like I'm proper and I'm speaking English and I'm a great educated person and be black when you want to act hood and ghetto like that's the only thing that we are. See that shit right there? Mm-mm. Not cool. So pick one. Because if black people got to pick for mixed people and biracial people, here's what's going to happen. You're going to be whatever you say you are. You have the right to be that. But if the shit hit the fan, don't bring your ass to black people. Because we already know it's bullshit. You see, you don't say, I'm black and French and Native American and for what? Why you? Because cause you, when people usually say it, they say it as trying to exclude that they're not black. See, when you downplay what, you, what your people's eyes can see, you're playing yourself. It is. You're playing yourself. For those people out there who say, you know what, my parent is this, my other parent is that, and I don't want to disrespect my parent, I dig that. But, you, but ask yourself a question. What is the world going to see you as? Not your parents. Not your friends, not your family, people outside of them. What are they going to call you when they see you? And if they're going to call you biracial or mixed, then fine. But we all know the truth. If you black, you black. Now, say that to go on a little bit further, I'm about to get into something serious. If you're having kids with somebody who ain't black because you want your kid to be lighter or have good hair or try not to consider themselves black and maybe they'll date somebody not black in the future and drown your blackness out, um, you got issues. 
Now you keep your issues and your own issues, but you got issues. And I'm gonna tell y'all something, just straight up. Cause I met a few girls who like to, who date outside their race, which I don't care about. But I tried to tell them something very serious. It's rare you see a, a, a non-black man with a, let me see, a fair skin or yellow or high yellow black girl. It's rare. The norm is they're with somebody brown or dark. Just take into consideration that maybe, just maybe, if it don't work out, you're dark enough that that baby can be light enough that they can think it's still with a black father who was just a deadbeat. And I've seen it time and time again. And the funny thing is, how come y'all don't talk about them guys? How come they're not bad dads, deadbeats? See, something's messed up about that. Same thing when the shoe's on the other foot. If you, I don't, but I don't know too many guys. I don't know no guys actually. Like I'm gonna have a baby with this chick because my son or daughter can have good hair or you know, they don't do that. I wish I could say it the other way, but I just can't think of no way. Anyways, now I'm done. Football time. Yes.